the good old missionary. Such a wonderful sexual position for couples. It can give us an amazing sense of closeness, intimacy, and a lot of skin-to-skin contact. I personally absolutely love it, but I know that many people can find it maybe a bit boring, especially if it's repeated over time again and again and again. So how to make it more interesting, you ask? Well, keep watching to find out. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life. And today I'm sharing with you 10 ways to spice up the missionary position. Number one, place a cushion or a pillow under her bum. You might need to use a few pillows here or one or two pillows that are quite firm. This is to make sure that her hips are properly propped up by the pillows and that they won't simply just go back down to the regular missionary, which could happen if you are using very, very soft pillows. This subtle little change will alter the angle of penetration and can lead to the woman having much more intense orgasms. Number two, put her legs between yours. So instead of allowing her legs to wrap around your body, which is usually the case with the standard missionary position, bring her legs together or ask her to bring her legs together and then penetrate her while your legs are on the on the outside of hers. This way she'll be able to squeeze her legs together and create all of this yummy tension and extra stimulation both for herself and for you. Number three, play with different thrusting techniques. Most men tend to always thrust in exactly same way. Same depth, same angle, same speed, same in and out movement. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that except for the fact that it can get a little bit boring. So instead of doing that, play with speed. Really slow down your thrusting and then speed it up again and then slow it down again. Keep her guessing what you're going to do next. You can also play with depth. Shallow thrusts can feel really really amazing, particularly before you go all the way in into those deeper areas of her vagina. And then going back to the shallow thrusts again, and again moving between the two and playing with sort of medium depth thrusts, etc. There are quite a few different things you can also do when it comes to the angle of your thrusting. When you're inside of her, you can hold on to the base of your penis and you can sort of perform this circling motion where your beautiful, mighty wand will be sort of uh, stimulating and massaging different walls of her vaginal canal. You can focus your thrusting upwards towards her g-spot. A lot of ladies really really like that. But you can also thrust downwards towards the back wall of her vagina, which many women find really really pleasurable. You can also try thrusting more to the left or more to the right and then make sure to ask her which one, which side she prefers. And make sure to also check out this video after you finish watching this one where I discuss many different thrusting techniques. Number four, cut or coital alignment technique. This is a fantastic variation of the missionary position where you start off in the missionary but then you shift your body a bit up towards her head. In this way, when you're thrusting, the base of your penis or your pubic area is actively uh, creating friction and movement and stim stimulation against her clitoris, which leads to a lot of added pleasure for your lady. And I have made an entire video on the coital alignment technique, which you can watch here. Number five, how about getting a little kinky with some bondage? You can use a scarf or her stockings or a piece of rope or anything else, your necktie or anything else that you've got handy to tie her hands to the bedpost. Doing that can introduce an extra level of excitement to your missionary position together. This will put you in a much more dominant position while your partner will be in a much more kind of submissive role here because she won't be able to touch you or really do anything. She'll have to just submit to you penetrating her and doing with her as you please. Of course, make sure to discuss it with her first and make sure that she's okay with that and she's consenting to this kind of bondage. Number six, blindfold your partner. The easiest 
thing to do here or to use here is a eye mask the kind that you can use for sleeping on the on the plane but if you don't have one handy you can also use a scarf or anything similar taking away your partner's sense of sight means that she'll be more focused on her other senses or her other senses will become sharpened in that way during your sexual experience together which obviously means more pleasure more stimulation and deeper sensations while you're uh, being on top of her. Number seven, take the missionary out of the bed. If you're always having sex in your bed, in your bedroom, maybe it's time to experiment with other places. You can try the kitchen, you can try the living room, you can try it on the sofa or on the rug, on the floor. You can even try doing it outside in nature, maybe in your backyard or somewhere else, but making sure you know that you won't get caught or you won't get interrupted. Number eight, take a pause and stop all movement. This is actually a mind-blowing concept for many people because we're so used to the sex being all about the movement and friction and stimulation. So the fact that we can just stop and feel and enjoy the moment without any movement and without any thrusting yeah that's a novelty concept for many couples one way to do it is to pause while you are deep inside of her and just stop all movement and look into each other's eyes and just feel the pleasure of the moment like really take it all in take in that beautiful shared moment together. Another way to do it is to take a break while you're outside of her, which means that you can use that pause and use that break to do other things like stimulate each other orally. Number nine, eye gaze. So many people tend to turn the light off and close their eyes and sort of have sex in this a bit of a disconnected kind of a way so how about leaving the lights on you don't have to leave the ceiling lights on you can use your reading light next to your bed or even a candle you also don't need to look into your partner's eyes the entire time for for this to work but at different points throughout your lovemaking make sure to keep your eyes open to connect with your partner through eye gazing and notice what that feels like number 10 add kegels kegels are amazing not just for strengthening your pelvic floor muscles they can be also very successfully used during sex kegels consist of clenching your pelvic floor muscles either rhythmically or with some kind of pattern uh, that works for you maybe just gently you're just going to gently squeeze your pelvic floor muscles during during sex or maybe you're gonna do it like really really strongly it's all up to you if a woman is doing this while her male partner is inside of her if she's doing this uh, or performing these clenches around his penis and this can feel really really blissful and amazing for a man just be careful here because this can actually bring your man to an orgasm fairly quickly. And if you'd like to learn my very special ways to spice up your doggy position, make sure to watch this video next.